go through anything. That's the problem with blocking. You know, I tell my son, when I was teaching my son how to escape and move, he starts blocking naturally, right? He's seven years old. So I show him videos on YouTube of people with Swiss balls, you know, and they run at each other. It doesn't matter if you run at me or I run at you if I have the ball. If you're heavier, I go flying. It's physics. Yeah. So if a heavy person swings at you and you block, it goes through, you stab yourself, you hit yourself with your firearm or your baton or your OC spray, it breaks your arm, it knocks you down, somebody committed full out taking a knife and going over the top like this, they generally go through. And just putting out your arm, not so good. So now, what works as officers? What did we find was good or was not good? What do we need to be aware of when people were attacking? Distance. You gotta have distance. And this is gonna be our dilemma. How do we maintain distance all the time? All the time without looking paranoid. How do we maintain distance without looking like some cliche American law enforcement officer screaming at a little kid for getting too close? How do we maintain distance to keep that person outside our reflex threshold? Because this is the reality, guys. You let him get within one meter and he will be able to move faster than you can neurologically respond. This is fact. This is science. You can have all the opinions you want. People will say, what about Mayweather when he boxes? Mayweather does not respond to the punch. Mayweather is already moving in predictable patterns and sometimes he gets hit. And if you watch him carefully, sometimes he's going the wrong way. But his basic movement works if he gets hit this way or this way. He just keeps going. He just keeps going. So one of the things we learn about preemptive movement is that the more I'm moving, the more easily I will continue moving. If I freeze and you hit me, I am fucked. It's a 50-50 roll of the dice that you're not. Does that make sense? But if Mayweather is moving like this, an officer on duty might be churning on the spot like this. That's it. I'm talking to you. I'm casual. Just a little bit of motion. Just stay moving. Your hands, instead of being like this, as soon as somebody comes in the distance, hi, how are you today? Awesome, I use my hand. I put my fence up, I start talking. Instead of being here, maybe I'm going to gesture here. I start to use my hands a little bit more naturally. But right away, it's making that person have a harder time get within one meter. Somebody walks up and it's absolutely, I put up a fence and I start talking and I start to gesture. And if I start, if you're trying to distract me over here, and I start to counter distract, I say, actually, no, if you look over here, and this guy's doing this, and you're pointing there, and they're going, that's a big aggression to you, right? Everybody's applauding for the prime minister or the president, and there's one guy doing this. That's a big aggression to you. That's next to this, right? That's not a good sign. So if you have people trying to distract you, you try to counter distract. You have people trying to engage you, you counter engage. You have people trying to enter, you need to exit. What do you think the most effective way to exit and create distance is? Backing up in a straight line? Why? He's always going to be able to run forward faster than you can run backwards. Yeah? You have no balance in the back, no toes, you're going to stumble. There's an expression in boxing, you can't win on your heels. Once you start doing this, it gets bad. Why do we back up? It's natural. Why is it natural? What's happening? Tunnel vision. Yeah. Tunnel vision is like those little cardboard cameras they give you at weddings, you know, those little crappy cameras. You zoom back and I can't see your feet, so what do I have to do? I have to go like this so I can see your feet. That's what tunnel vision is. And tunnel vision happens at low levels as well. Sometimes people come up and we tunnel because we're distracted by their smile, we're, we're, we're distracted by their face, we're distracted by their expression, or we're, we're kind of looking at nothing and then we look at somebody and we try to gauge at, as an animal. What's their emotional state? And now we're not looking at anything else. They get too close, they go to attack, we can't process it, we back up. So it's very important, before we get sucker hit, we need to start moving to create distance, but ideally we want to get out of the habit of doing this. So we need to start circling out. If somebody comes in, I circle out. I would rather have all of you in front of me. So if you're pointing there, then I'm automatically going to start pointing over there and counter moving. And I'll, I'll move back a little bit, but I circle. Like a good boxer. Boxers don't run backwards, they circle. One way, they circle the other, there's different strategies. Does that make sense? 
So we try to look at ourselves circling. How do I circle, guys? Do I want to circle like this? It's okay if you're at a Greek wedding. Yeah? Otherwise, we try to avoid the cross step. Yeah? We take small steps. Small steps, feet are apart, like that. Right? You guys don't get as much snow and ice here as we do in Montreal. We get a lot. It's super important on shitty ice. You've got to be like this. I start to talk, and I can churn. I try not to change my lead voluntarily. If I'm a right-handed officer, my sidearm is going to be in the back. I'd like to keep it back. If somebody comes in too close, and I was up here, what should I do with my hands? Get them away from your body. I would go a step further to say, be aware of your pistol. If your pistol's high, and you can touch it with your elbow, that's going to improve proprioception and touching that fast. Right? If it's on your leg, tactically, then you need to have your hand maybe a little bit lower so it's closer to reach, and you should index them. If my gun is here, I should know where it is when my elbow is on my, my rib. I should know where my elbow has to be. So right away, these are things that you can do very casually. And even if you're not carrying it, you can, you can do this whenever somebody walks up.